Guys, hey, thanks for joining me again today. Second post of the day. Look how productive I'm being. I can do two posts in a day. Um, got the 46 in. Man, this morning I, I went to the bank, did some paperwork, stopped at the seed dealer, got our corn and soybeans, that, that list double checked so everything's ready there. Uh, called Albert Lee Seed House for a couple acre cover crop mix for an experiment I want to do. Uh, got a chiropractor appointment made. Man, I just, oh, I got a world's worth of work done today. And now I got the 4640 in and it's only a little after lunchtime. Um, this is great. We got to go through, um, I had a lot of little things on the 4640 here to do. I want to uh, do a little touch up paint for one, but the windows, I need new seals for the windows. I got to paint them corners. I got a light up there to fix. This, this seal here, the headliner inside the cab is coming apart and the, the upholstery in the cab is coming apart. Um, the seat valve, the three points up, but way up in there is the seat valve for the, the hydraulic suspension, that's leaking. Um, I gotta do some diagnostics. I think the three point valve, the hitch control valve assembly has some high pressure leaks in it. You can hear it when the three point hitch is all the way up. Um, on these John Deere big case, you go in through this port here right above your serial number tag. Um, on these big case, on the big frames, there's a plate on the bottom side of this three point, and sometimes that plate cracks, and you got a high pressure leak to sump there, or the valves themselves that control the three point. Um, sometimes they get a little funky. Ah, and leak and we're at 10,350 hours um, There's a good chance just a valve is just getting wore to where it's out of adjustment um, But yeah, yeah overall the steering motor I had to take the dash apart. I started taking the dash apart um, To pull that steering metering pump out of there because that shaft seals leak and it leaks oil down inside the cab um, but yeah, and then just regular service, change oil, clean the air filter, uh, clean the screens and the radiator and blah, 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 give the front axle and the rear axles a good grease job. Um, other than that, this tractor's ready to go. And so, yeah, spend a week on him putzing around and we'll see how that goes. All right, guys. Well, I'm, I'm back to work, so gotta go. So these steering posts, the, the steering meters under there. And so um, we used to take the time and go get a T-puller. Ah, I love my little air hammer. You just hold it to the top, put a little force against it. And the steering wheel comes loose. Pop that nut off. And the steering wheel is off. And we're good to keep moving forward. What we got to get to is, so here's our dash. The phone is in the seat. Under the dash here, right here, this this block right here, the steering shaft comes down and on the top, there's just a simple seal. Um, but you can see it's clearly leaking and starting to make a little bit of a mess in the cab. It's a common thing on higher hour deers. The 4000 series deers, pretty common. Um, so yeah, that's the goal today is get that puppy out. We got the steering wheel off. There's just a really big C-clip up here. Not much tension on it. It's kind of a softer one. Um, I got a very tiny screwdriver. I'm probably using too small of a screwdriver. I don't want to bend it, but that big guy comes off. The steering cover comes off. Put them back together. Leave it on the seat. Now this whole piece can simply go down through the dash when you when I get the motor off. Then on the bottom of the metering pump, we just got four hoses. This hose here is pretty common. It's a low pressure. This is the one that goes down behind the steps here to the clutch valve housing. It's not uncommon for them to leak and break. Well, we just get the hoses off and then work on the mounts ok 
kind of a wrestling match once you get it loose or a little little wrestling to get him in out of there nice nice thing is the lines hold their position well so a guy doesn't really have to memorize them but a lot of this working on stuff if I, I've never been embarrassed to have to label things either but yeah there he's ready to go unhooked or now we got to come over here ah, I wonder with my harnesses I might have to move some harness out of the way but there's a there's a big nut here's the it's a big nut right there kind of see the big nut there's a bolt come from the inside to that nut and that nuts kind of a bushing for that steering and that's what that post pivots on um, so if your post is super sloppy side to side slop them bushings are bad so yeah, we'll just get them two bolts out of there and drop that puppy out and pop a seal in. Kind of a booger down there. I'm looking through the camera to, to line up my wrench because the gap I can look through is so tiny that by putting the camera there, it, blo <laughs> it blocks my vision. But yeah, you can, he's coming loose and we'll go to the other side and get that one loose. I wonder if I can get my fingers back in there. Oh yeah. Yeah, so we don't take them out quite yet till we get that other side loose. And I got the other side. Now we can spin him out. This camera ain't bad because it can see in there better than I can see in. And come back to this one somehow. There he goes. And with the, the lever we use to tilt our steering, you gotta pull that up out of the way. And the wrestling match kinda begins here. I mean, the 30 series weren't so bad. The 40 series, they added this bracket down here for doing, uh, these are the light relays down here. So it, yeah, make sure your bracket gets past that. A little twist and he's out. He is out. That was just the spring for our tilt steering. That's all right. Well, let's take it to the bench. So we got the meter pump out, put it in the vise. Get the uh, whistle the bolts out. There's six bolts on this. We just want to take the four that are holding the steering base on. Unless it is leaking Unless it is, if you see it leaking between these halves, then obviously mark the halves, and it's just an aluminum sheet of tin foil that goes between them halves. Um, but if you don't have to get in there, I would not. This is a, a great do-it-yourself project for a farmer on a rainy day. Instead of paying your dealership 120 bucks an hour, Pay yourself nothing and uh, at the dealership it's a couple hour deal um, I, I to get to this point I barely got a half hour into it and the seal well I got to kind of change my voice here Got 
him on. Meter pump on their bolt. And there's the there's the seal we're after. Just a quick quick little fix. I'll uh, go see if we got one in the box. Put it all back together, I guess. Oh boy, as luck would have it, in our steering parts box, we happen to have a steering seal. Remember, your lip always goes to pressure side. And he just sits in there. And that's that. Um, now we just start putting everything back together. I do want to clean him a little bit there before I put the steering on just so nothing loose falls in and then I will take him out and pressure wash him before I reinstall it in the tractor. Guys, I have to document this so my wife doesn't think I goof off all day since I am now at home and she is stuck still driving to the stupid cities. <laughs> I always hand tighten stuff up. The impact is just there for the quick torquing get to that point. The nuts fit in that body down there, so if you ever do work on one, you don't wrench the nut off. The nut fits in the body. Click, she's torqued, we, we got a good turn, our shaft still telescopes, we're good to go. Well, let's go wash it off and reinstall it. So here's where the super fun part, you can see the, the ear wiggling over there, and it's kind of hard to do and hold this camera at the same time, but we gotta, you gotta kind of wrestle the unlock so you can pivot him up just right, and then I don't know if I can do it backwards handed here. Um, and then you would come under there and put your bolt in. I gotta I gotta switch hands. I gotta get the camera out of here so I can switch hands. But yeah, it's kind of a stand on your head for that one bolt thing. Give it a quick run and we're turning the wheels back and forth, making sure nothing's leaking. And uh we're ready to go. Yeah. Alright guys, well there was a productive hour and a half, so see you next time.